Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is my observational video for Windows 10 November update or fall update or threshold to whatever you want to call it. Um, I've updated three computers at home with this update. So I have my own observations on what happened, how it went, the time it took depending on the machines. But also I'll be posting a second video for those that have problems like the update not showing up or maybe an error message while you're trying to update from the Windows update and so on. Uh, there's a video that's going to show you a little bit of tips and tricks that you can use to get this update. So I've updated three machines. Three machines that have um, different you know, processors from all my old Core 2 machines to this uh, more recent Core i5 computer that I use as my main computer. Now, if you want to have the update, if you haven't uh, got it yet, what you need to do is go into the notifications, all settings, click the update and security, and just click that check for update button. And you should have something that's going to show up that is called Windows 10 Home version 15.11 uh, 10 586 Windows 10 Pro version 1511 uh, built 10586 it, it has that strange name there of, uh, of, of Windows version and but you'll see 1511 in that Windows version well that's the update it's a very big update it takes time to download and it takes time to install it has the feel of a big full install of Windows basically. I have the impression that's pretty much what this update does. Completely reinstalls Windows by keeping your stuff and everything. Now uh, it sounds scary but it actually was not at all on all three of my machine. It worked flawlessly. was really really good. What I should uh, say here is if you're on a metered connection, if you're on a connection that you know you have only a few gigabytes a month and you don't want to use all of that at once what you could do is you know go into your uh, Wi-Fi settings and just turn on metered connection that's going to prevent the download of the update because I think it is several gigabytes nowhere that I see how much it uh, actually takes but it felt like it was several gigabytes downloading so just to uh, you know tell all of you out there how big this is once uh, it's downloaded, what you will have finally is, okay, it's going to ask you to restart or to, um, you know, install, restart or something. I don't remember what's the uh, little button in the updates that says. But uh, it's going to actually restart. And at some point, it's going to show this. After a little while, it restarts your computer and you get upgrading windows with this circle and you have this little progression. Now how much time does it take? It depends on your computer uh, hardware, on your computer's processor and speed and so to give you an idea it took about an hour, an hour 15 minutes on my older computers. It took about 50 minutes on my main machine I would say. Um, depending on the computer you have, if you have a solid state drive, it might take 25, 30 minutes. If you have older hardware or if you have a computer that has a magnetic hard drive, it might take 45 minutes to an hour, maybe more than an hour. Uh, don't worry, you know that progress is going to go on. Sometimes it stops at a few places. You have the impression nothing's happening, but don't panic. Something is happening. Just let it do its job and don't stop it in the middle of the update. That is the worst thing you can do. And after a while, after it completes, you'll then have the second window that's going to say, okay, taking care of a few things. Uh, it's going to tell you all your files, folders, apps, everything is still there, the same spot in the same place. It's going to tell you at a f after a uh, you know, little while, okay, we're ready to go. And when you're ready to go, what you'll notice is that no difference. That's probably the first thing that everybody will just say, like, um, did it install anything? I don't see any difference. 
And yes, it did upgrade. And if you want to make sure that it upgraded, simply go down to the Cortana search box and type W-I-N-V-E-R, WinVer for Win Windows version, and click the run command. And you'll see that it says Microsoft Windows version 15.11, OS build 10586.3. So that's interesting, that little dot three actually shows us that there were some updates that were applied to this uh, fall update. And um, that's the interesting part of it because uh, it is really, really, um, you know, it hasn't been a long time since it's been there for all users in the Insiders preview, but there's already a few updates and that's the dot three, that's what it shows here. So you are there, there's a lot of new features. You can check out my video um, that I did post about the new features, but I'll post probably another video checking a little more in detail the stuff, the new stuff in this version. Of course, if you use Edge, you'll see that it's gonna say, hey, welcome to Microsoft Edge, because it's a brand new version of Edge that has some new features. And um, everything went well for me. And as of yet, I don't see a lot of problems, but I do see problems with people that can't install it so look for another video that I'll post a little later on. I'm going to give you tips on how to install if it doesn't want to work. And the reason why I also want to do this is I had to do it on my main machine. My two older computers, Windows Update, fetched the update and installed it flawlessly. But on my main computer, it would not find the update. It stubbornly did not find the update. So I searched for what, what should I do? And so finally, I found a little solution for that. So if you don't see the update, if you get an error message in the update with the Windows update, uh, well, you know what? Check my second video. I'm going to show you how to install it in a different way um, for those that have the problems. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And why not share your experience of how the update went and if you did, um, you know, how long it took, if it went well, um, and uh, what do you think of the new update. Uh, last word of caution here for everybody. If you are having problems with your existing Windows 10, because a lot of you have been t telling me you've got problems, start menu problems, uh, problems a little, everywhere. I would probably say it's better to download the uh, you know new image files and use the download or use the you know download tool from Microsoft Windows and reinstall from scratch because if you got problems I think you'll still have problems after this update but you know what try it out if you want but by doing a clean install it might fix everything and you're actually going to be okay so uh, if you got problems I've got another video where I'll show you how you can update if you can't. So thank you for watching and uh, please send me your comments about your experience on the install of Windows 10 fall update.